Oh, we, of course, we're going to break down the game later. We're going to talk about the mishaps and the offense, few in the defense and whatnot, even special teams. We're going to get into all of that and so on and so forth. Y'all know how it goes. But I wanted to make this video so we can just take a moment to celebrate. To celebrate. Take a moment to realize, like, man, the Ravens are officially, not maybe, not depending on how this game goes, that game goes, that game, no, no, no. the Ravens are officially in the playoffs this season. And that's such a beautiful thing, especially when you look back at last year and how last year went. Now, if we go back to last season, remember the Ravens, they started off with 8-3. Eight and, eight and three. And it was like, okay, they at the top of the AFC, the top of the AFC North, and all of that good stuff. It's like, all right, let's go. Then they dropped to eight and four, eight and five, eight and six, eight and seven, eight and eight, eight and nine. They just stopped winning. They they stopped winning. And it was a sad story. And of course we know injuries played a part in it. But then this year, there have been injuries as well. There have been some significant guys hurt, but as opposed to last year, something that's much different from last year is that a lot of the guys that got hurt this year, a lot of them end up coming back. Now, there was some that unfortunately weren't able to come back. Remember Jawan James? Uh, we remember Michael Pierce. Uh, we remember um, Kyle Fuller. Uh, a lot of guys just, or some guys end up getting lost for the season and they weren't able to, to return. But uh, most of the guys who got hurt this year, they have been able to make their return for the Ravens. But this is nice, man. It's, it's nice that, and, and I know different people feel different way of, ways about this team being in the playoffs. I know I've heard a lot of people, oh, they're going to be one and done. And some people think, oh, they may actually win one game, but after that they're going to lose. However you feel about it is fine. It's perfectly fine. Don't feel bad or don't feel, yeah, don't feel bad for however you feel the Ravens are going to do. Whether you think they're going to do great, whether you think they're going to do bad, either way, it's fine. But, be happy that they're here. Be happy that they're in the playoffs. And I know we got our issues with some stuff Harbaugh does, our issues with some stuff Greg Roman does, our issues with some stuff that Mike McDonald does, even our issues with some stuff that Chris Horton does. But despite all the issues that the Ravens have, they are in the playoffs. They're in there. Now, we know this team is not perfect. They are far from perfect. But they got a chance. They got a chance. And I know you look at the team, you look at the roster, you look at the receivers, you look at the offense, you look at it sometimes in the defense too. You look at so many different stuff and you're like, man, ooh, I don't know about these guys, but they got a chance. The first thing you got to do is get in. That's the first thing you got to do. All the other stuff, it matters, but this is what matters the most. You giving yourself an opportunity to even be in the conversation. I mean, and and that, that's where it starts. And again, I, I do not think that this was many Ravens fans' concerns was making the playoffs. It, it was about what they would do when they got there. Now we can actually have the conversation about Ravens being in the playoffs because they made it in. Now I know a lot of Ravens fans are also concerned about, oh man, who do we want to play? Who do we want to go up against? Who do we want to face? Me? Face whoever. I don't care who the Ravens face, home game, away game, 1C, 2C, 3C, 4, who, I don't care. I'm just glad that they're in. And because I feel like you, you, you can't walk around. Like, think about the players. Think about the players. What if the players were like, oh, man, I don't want to face that team. They're going to whoop us. So if, if players had that mentality... Going into a game, and hey, you know, there could be some players that could be thinking like, man, I really don't want to go against those guys. But regardless, if players had that mentality, like, man, we, we don't got a chance against this team. We don't got a chance against that team. If they had that mentality going into a playoff game, they're already done. They'd already be done. There would be no chance that they could, they would already be finished. It would be a wrap. Because if you go in there scared, oh, yeah, yeah you're going to get dog walked. But the Ravens, despite every, despite every single one of the issues that they have, they have shown this year, they've shown it, that they can rock with anybody. They can hang with any team. They can rock with any team. Ravens are one of the weirdest teams in the world. One of the weirdest teams in the world. But again, they've, they've shown that they can mess with anybody. Their issue just has been closing. It's been closing. It's been finishing the job. 
We were talking about it during the live stream during this uh, Ravens and Falcons game. How four out of their five losses, things just crumbled apart at the very end. The very end. Very end. You think about the Dolphins game, that fourth quarter collapse. You think about the Bills game, that fourth quarter collapse. You think about the Giants game, that fourth quarter collapse. You think about the Jaguars game, that fourth quarter collapse. You even think about the Browns game, just the collapse in itself as a whole. But even in the fourth quarter, because they just stopped doing what was working. Ravens have been a team that's been able to start strong. And, and again, they can rock with any, any team you line them up against. They can rock with them. With all the injuries, with all the play calling issues, with all the lack of personnel in certain areas, with all this and all that. They can rock with anybody, but they got to be better at finishing the job. Got to be better at finishing the job. Have to. Because if you don't get better at finishing the job, <laughs> that other team is going to finish your season. Your season is going to be done. But it, it, this is such a, a nice feeling, knowing that the Ravens are in the playoffs and they still got two regular season games left to play. We ain't been used to this. Like, we ain't had this since, what, 2019? But the Ravens like, no, oh, yeah, we're in the playoffs. No, we ain't had that in a while. Because regular Ravens football, regular Ravens season is fighting like to the, the last second. The last game where, where the whole, every single game matters and you got to fight. Because, you know, Ra Ravens, they don't like to make stuff easy. That's why 2019, that wasn't a real year. Ravens don't like to make stuff easy. They don't. I mean, you see the way they play. See, you see the game against the Falcons, but we ain't here to talk about the game against the Falcons. We'll talk about that later. But you see how they play. They don't like making stuff easy. But the fact that they end with two games left, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, so now you strategize. Now you, you, you try to figure some stuff out. And I mean, it's, you're in a position to where you obviously don't have much time left. You don't have much time left really for anything. Um, it ain't like you can make some big drastic change that's going to set the team off. Like, well, no, you, you just got to, you got what you got. You are who you are and you got to make the best of it. Got to make the best of it. Got to hope that, hey, you, you catch some fire. You get hot. You execute. You play call. You coach well. You got to hope that everything just falls in line at the right time, at the right speed, at the right pace. You got to hope for all that stuff. Um, but the fact that you are in the dance, in the playoff dance, that's, that's a good thing. That's a real good thing. And, and it is definitely plenty of reason uh, to celebrate. So just like the Ravens, unfortunately, were last year when it came to being in the playoffs. But not this year, baby. We out.